Hey guys, it's Elizabeth again from Use Fitness. Um, today I'm also going to go over um, cartwheel mounts with you. So we'll take a look at that and a couple ways you can get started until you're ready to go up um, into a split hold. Okay, so I'm going to start off with just a demo of what your final cartwheel mount should look like. Let me just angle this a little bit better. All right, so cartwheel mount will look like this. So what we're doing is, <clears throat> I use my dominant hand on top. When we go into our cartwheel mount, we're going to be actually stepping across to the side of the pole, whatever your arm is. So I'm using my right arm, so I want to step across to the right side of the pole with my left foot, my inside leg, and I'm going to be lifting up and over this way, staying on the right side of the pole with my body. So, the biggest thing that people have trouble with here is the left hand not going low enough. So what you want to think about is this top hand should be about eye level, no lower, okay? And then the bottom hand is going to be reaching way, way down to the bottom of the pole, okay, to get um, a proper grip. We're trying to basically stay, um, <clears throat> stay so that we're just rotating on our center point. Um, if you're really strong, you could have your hand a little higher and push yourself up into it, but to make it easier on your body, you want to put, um, make it so much harder, let's try and reach really low so that when you lift your leg up and over, um, you're just turning your entire body over in one piece. So the biggest, the next thing after that that's challenging where people are not getting their hand low enough is that it can be a little scary letting your head just drop down. So a lot of people tend to do something like this where they kick up and they don't want to let their head go down and because it can be a little scary the first time. But the thing is, you've got to let yourself turn right over or you're never going to get into movement. So a way you can kind of get used to it with feeling a little bit safer than just kind of hoping that you find your balance is to start off by cartwheeling into an extended butterfly. So it would look like this. So I would step across my left foot. My left hand is going to drop low, low, low. I'm going to catch my right ankle on the pole, and then I can come out from there. So that way, you have something to catch your leg on. You can start to get used to turning your body um, completely on its side um, in one piece. And once you start to get comfortable with that, you want to, instead of just aiming to catch your leg, you want to try and go past the pole a bit, find a little bit of a flow. You'll find that you'll get to a point when you're practicing this that you'll come up and realize, oh, I'm balancing. So that's kind of what you want to try and do here. So um, just to show you what that kind of looks like, again, my hand is eye level. My left hand is going to drop. I come up, oh, floating, catch, or stay there, and come down. So. That's your cartwheel mount. Hopefully that helps a little bit with how you can get into it. If you have any issues or um, would like a little bit help with maybe something that you're having trouble with in that specific move, let me know. And if you have any requests, let me know as well. And have a great day. See you later.